you've ever read a webtoon, then you know that they love playing into tropes. And if you don't know what a trope is, a trope is a very common plot structure, character, theme, or trait, or another storytelling device that's used in multiple creative works. With that being said, I'm going to explain now the top 10 most used tropes in the webtoon space. But if you don't know who I am, I'm Brandon Chen. I am a professional manga and webtoon creator. I run a studio that creates all types of stories for all types of publishers in this space. And understanding the tropes that are common within the space allow me to understand, hey, this is what's gonna work in the industry and what will resonate with readers, but also what I might want to break out of. Because working within tropes also can also box you in and make you feel a little bit unoriginal if that's all you're doing. So understanding tropes is really important for creators, but it's also really fun to, for readers to understand what's what happening uh, behind the scenes and what us as creatives love to use as our, our main storytelling devices. Before we get into the actual list, make sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe for more educational content like this. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So we're gonna start off with the number one trope, which is the classic rags to riches trope. This is really popular in a lot of the Korean series where they have kind of a character that's starting from humble beginnings and then rises to a position of wealth or power. This is either through hard work or a stroke of luck. Another way to say this is this is kind of like a weak to strong type of story. So something like God of High School, which is a really popular webtoon story. You have a main character who's kind of starting as like an underdog in this martial arts tournament, but then he gets stronger and stronger, stronger over time. Soul leveling is probably another good example. Weak character gets strong. A lot of the series where you have a character that suddenly goes from like a poor peasant to like suddenly like a rich duke um, is also in that kind of category as well. I tend to find this type of story to be one of my favorite tropes to use because I'm really I'm really a big fan of like the weak to strong trope. I think it's really like really awesome. I think it's used a lot in shonen manga, but I like it better when it's earned through hard work. You know, you have a character who's poor and then becomes rich because he did something. It's not just luck. A lot of webtoons tend to have it so that, oh, like it's a stroke of luck. I got reincarnated and now I'm a rich person. I'd rather have it where it's character who's working on themselves and they become stronger through hard work or character like, you know, again, God of High School, uh, Jin Mori becomes stronger through hard work as well. So, you know, I'd rank this trope as, a, as pretty high on my list, but I'm a better fan of rags to riches or weak to strong when you deserve it <laughs> rather than just like, hey, this is like a random plot point stroke of luck type of thing. Okay, so number two trope is the secret identity trope. We have a character that's trying to hide their identity to protect others or protect themselves and there's some kind of threat that is happening if their true self is revealed. Uh, one example of using this trope would be maybe Unordinary, another webtoon series where you kind of have the main character hiding special powers in a world where everyone also has powers and this kind of leads to a lot of dramatic reveals, a lot of conflicts as well. Um, Just a Goblin, which is a series that I did, has a lot of conflicts. It's about two goblins who went undercover as adventurers, um, so they're working with the people who want to kill them. That one is another good example of secret identity and leads to a lot of different conflicts and drama. So I, I, I'm a big fan of secret identity. I think that one is a trope that is, is super fun to use. And yeah, I use it in a couple different of my series as well. All right, the next on the list is the classic, but also my favorite. Well, actually, no, it's not my favorite, but enemies to lovers is the classic romance trope, not just across webtoon, but also film, novels, all that kind of stuff. So enemies to lovers, pretty self-explanatory. You have two characters who kind of like have an antagonistic relationship. They're at odds with each other and you think they're enemies, but then they, their hatred somehow shifts and turns into some sort of love because one day they just cross that line. You know, it's interesting, but I was gonna say my favorite romance trope is like the friends to lovers, but that's like kind of boring. So uh, you know what? Enemies to lovers, it's spicy, it's good. Everyone loves it. Can't complain about that one. Another big trope that's really interesting and this is very specific in webtoon and manga and anime is time travel. And this is usually what's happening in a lot of regret stories both in romance and in action and drama so you might have a character who for some reason gets to go back in time to change things and alter past events and those events have implications to the future or the past 
past or are they just going to live this entire new life knowing what happened because they're from the future so there's also some usually this kind of like overpowered trope that also plays into it because the main character knows things that are going to happen so therefore they can live this second life a better way again very popular in action regression stories and also romance stories here's a good uh, a good example like a character she's a girl she had a cheating husband the husband then killed her and then she dies i swear this is a plot and then she dies falls down the stairs or something and then she wakes up and she's back in her body several years earlier and now she gets to do it all over again and get revenge right so there's a bunch of different tropes in there i swear i just described like 15 different romance webtoons with that one summary but that's a very common one the regression stories uh another very popular trope number five is going to be the reincarnation stories which you could say that regression going back in time and reincarnation are sometimes intertwined but sometimes literally just like you're being reincarnated and so a lot of the times you're you know this this is usually isekai which is when you're reincarnated into another world so that's different from the time travel stuff sometimes you're reincarnated but in the same world and this time you just like have a second chance i want to look it up what's it called i have no idea what it is but there's if i type in reborn into webtoon you'll find like reborn rich the reborn young lord is an assassin a, a flame reborn there's a lot of there's a lot of rebirth stuff so don't worry uh if you're looking for rebirth just type in rebirth into the webtoon platform and i'm sure you'll find something then we have number six which is the chosen one trope again this is popular kind of in webtoons but it's also popular in a lot of like children's film like where it's like you're the chosen one it has to be you i kind of don't like chosen one vibes because i mean here's the thing i love a good destiny story right like oh this is your fate this is your destiny but when it's like one character like poe from kung fu panda or something and it's like you're the only one who can solve this problem so it has to be you even though you don't deserve it I'm more of like a hard work guy. That's why whenever it falls into your lap or like luck, I'm just, I'm not a fan of that trope personally, but a good example of this trope, very popular webtoon, now turned anime, Tower of God, um, Bam has a certain destiny as he's kind of cl climbing this tower and he has like unique abilities and you know, he's like the chosen one, right? I guess you could say that for a lot of these different series, like when it's, whenever it's like a regression story, they're kind of chosen in some way, but this one in particular, I think is a little bit different. So, but yeah, chosen one, classic trope, very popular across a lot of different mediums. Not my favorite. Uh, number seven is the tournament arc trope. So tournament arcs are very popular. Again, they used to be very popular in traditional manga and anime. You know, back in the Hunter Hunter Dragon Ball days when you're out there like watching all these tournament arcs. There's still a few series that are focused around tournament arcs like Record of Ragnarok. I think one, the guy who did One Punch Man and Mob Psycho, that writer is also doing another tournament arc manga now. So very popular in Japanese publishing. For the way webtoon space it's also very popular usually more in a sports setting or an action setting i think that the the boxer is all i mean any sports series that really has like any sort of like tournament structure is usually considered like a tournament arc so there's a lot of like sports series the most popular sports series in the webtoon space are usually like martial arts related because people love punching things or watching people punch things but again it's very popular in anime as well oh man body swap is super fun you know obviously it's very common right it's freaky friday two characters are switching bodies and they have to live each other's lives and gain a new perception and understanding of something um i'm doing this with my series angel wings which is coming out uh in october very exciting where a devil and an angel switch bodies and they have to live their lives could you say lookism is one i guess you he has his own body lookism is a weird thing because he has like two bodies and he's like switching between the two bodies but like only one is conscious so it's kind of weird like he has like a fat body and like a sexy body Body. Weird thing, a little bit different. I think it's a twist on the trope that I'm talking about, but then we have reverse harem. It's really interesting. A lot of readers in the webtoon space are women. So you'll find actually a lot more reverse harem series than actually harem series from what I've seen. And that's because reverse harem targets the girls. So you might have like an Atome game type thing where you have a girl that has multiple love interests that are all hot guys. Then the last trope is going to be VR, virtual reality. And this is usually a type of game i guess like you know you could say like sort of online where it's like the lines between virtual the virtual world and our world are a little bit blurred but it's different from a traditional fantasy setting so this is like still like a video game so another example of this would be overgeared which is about a 
character who is actually playing like a VR video game. So like the VR game and he's got like, and he's like a real person in the real world playing an actual VR game. And there's a ton of series like this where you have like this kind of like in between of the real world, the video game, and obviously the most of the interesting stuff happens in the actual game, but it's not full isekai story where it's like I'm in the game. Like Overlord is a good example of that. Overlord is an anime where the main character was literally isekai or transported into the game and he cannot escape, right? Same with beginning of Sword Art Online, I guess. But um, a lot of these webtoon series are not full immersive. You're playing the game as a human being, like with a VR headset or something. So, but yeah, guys, so those are the top 10 tropes that we came up with. Um, let me know if you thought I missed any in the comments. Do you recognize any of these? Were there any that you thought were your favorites? Definitely let me know. And also like, if you have any recommendations within these tropes that you're like, oh, yo, Brandon, these are bangers. Like definitely study these series. Please let me know comments. I'm always looking for new reads. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And then of course, if you want to read any of my webtoons and how they use some of these tropes, all the links for my own series will be linked in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next week.